right-hand forearm in obvious pain. They're going to take a look at that. And Sean Jones now in a quarterback for Baltimore. Second and eight from the 10-yard line. Jones looking to the left side, lets it fly, and he's got Reggie Perry. Perry loses his footing and gets forward to about the six-yard line, but not going to be close to a first down. Don Smith on the stop there. Well, still even at that, you know, uh, Sean Jones comes in, he does the right thing, he throws a safe pass. And when I say safe pass, by the mere fact, he, he rolls out to his left and he throws the ball into Reggie Perry's hands. And, and I like that catch. This guy is catching the football in his hands. And as receivers, this is what you've got to do. Catch the football in your hands, and this gives them a chance to try to run with the football. Good recovery by the defense. But I tell you what, nice safe play by Baltimore to give them a chance to score points. Fourth reception of the night for Reggie Perry, the converted quarterback out of the University of Southern California. We're going to get a look at Carlos Huerta now. They're marking this one just between the 13 and the 14 yard line. We'll call it the 13. Third string quarterback Dan Crowley kneeling for the hole. Here's the snap. Huerta gets the foot in it. It's up and it's good. And Baltimore has the lead for the first time in this football game. 13 to 10 with 9.25 to play in the third quarter. Good looking drive there, Joe, but well, it could have been costly. Uh, you're really, you know, you're really, you're, 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 you're absolutely right about that cost as far as uh, Tracy Ham is concerned. Now, you know, he gets to the point where he gets a real good feel for this football team and how he wants to direct it down the field. He does a good job of mixing up the plays. Pringles running real well, and I think they really established something on that drive. I tell you what, when you see this team walk off the field as far as Memphis is concerned, you see a diff different Memphis football team. You know, it, 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 there, there isn't as much spring in, spring in there again as far as them coming off the field. But the thing that really impresses me more so is Sean Jones. He comes in. Now, one of the things, the worst thing for him to do at that point was to drop back and try to throw the football into the teeth of this football for right down the middle. But what does he do? He rolls out. Gives him a chance to see the field a little bit better. Throws a little safe out pass to Perry, and he catches the football in his hand, and they get three points out of it. Well, we, of course, await an injury report on Tracy Ham's forearm. And speaking of injuries, at halftime, we learned that Sharp Ordonish has injuries to both ankles. We mentioned he was playing on two sprained ankles. He had x-rays. They don't indicate a break as of yet, but he is indeed done for the night. But well, one thing, you know, about offensive linemen, we, we noted a little earlier, they wear these uh, knee braces. And by wearing a knee brace, it takes a lot of the stress from there to the ankles. And he got whipped back pretty good. Well, here's Huerta with a kickoff. Hangs it up there pretty good. Going to be taken at the 20-yard line by Kendrick Jones. Jones to the 30, 35. He's still on his feet at the 40-yard line. Finally brought down about the 46. In on the play for Baltimore, Norris Thomas. And the Mad Dog.